We live in a society that is driven by a sense of rebellion. At least here in this country. I don't know how much that applies in other countries, but I would imagine it's just part of the human spirit. There's a certain amount of rebellion that's that, that we have that's necessary to drive us to, uh, to change. And there have been a lot of very reasonable things to rebel against. Very, very reasonable things to rebel against. And there have always been some unreasonable things to rebel against. What has happened is we're now starting to rebel against the idea of trying to make things better. And that's so, that's such a fucked up sign. You know, it makes me feel like things are ready to come to an end. And I don't mean the world coming to an end, but our society coming to an end. It seems like I don't know, it's it's we've gotten so much more of an understanding of people, of culture, of what makes people tick. We've gotten more of an understanding of psychology. We understand the human mind more than we ever have. There are so many just great things that we we now know that we didn't before. And yet now we're rebelling against <laughs> I mean now that that Most companies want to have their stuff represented by uh, their name put on things that are uh, inclusive because that's how things have changed. Things have become more inclusive as time goes on and we've learned to be more and more inclusive and that was the name of the game. But some of the things that people are rebelling against, I mean, yes, there are people, some people are saying some stupid things. And people have said stupid things throughout time, throughout history. People have said stupid things, and those things get tested. Those things... Uh, and we, we look at the results of those tests. And there are some things that we continue to try to test over and over and over again. We'll probably always continue to test those things. But... You know, in the past, we could just leave stupid ideas as stupid ideas. But now, we sensationalize stupid ideas by holding it up as something to criticize instead of just letting it die. That doesn't, I mean, that doesn't make the, the, that idea go away. Um, the more you talk about an idea, the more it gets thought about. But I mean, just the idea now of, of people treating each other decently is looked at as, you know, uh, people who, I mean, people who try to do that, to try to treat others decently, end up being looked at as, oh, well, that's just political correctness. Okay. So then I, I, I think it's funny, because and, and that, that's what it boils down to. Then I made that video uh, several months ago saying, you know, we need, uh, uh, since people are, are putting it that as political correctness, I say, well, we need political correctness to have a cohesive society that, that isn't going to fall apart. You know, that's, that's part of the thing that, that, that's part of the glue that, that holds our society together is the idea of us treating each other decently. But that all seems to be going out the window because we have to rebel against, against uh, any sort of standards at all. See, like I said, in the past, we, we've, we, I mean, 
there have always been unreasonable things to rebel against, but there have, in the past there have always been tons of, of things that are very reasonable to rebel against. You know, we've, we've gotten very close to having a, a just a really, really awesome society. Now we're rebelling against everything good. YouTube is in existence to make money for Google and in all al alphabet, right? That's the purpose. And I'm seeing some people right now saying, oh, well, we should boycott the companies that are boycotting YouTube. Are, are, are you nuts? Do you think these companies care about the people who are so angry at this, who are often the ones that support the people that are the reason why the advertisers are leaving? You think bugging them about it is going to help? Maybe you should send them death threats, right? Maybe that, maybe that, that'll help, right? Maybe send them some rape threats. Maybe dock drop some people that work for the company. Maybe that'll help, right? <laughs> I, I, I don't think people quite realize how bad this platform has gotten, how toxic this platform has gotten. When people were rebelling even just five years ago on this platform, four years ago, the people who were assholes, you just looked at, well, these are just the assholes. It didn't become this method of making money on this platform. And this whole mindset, this ponage culture, is essentially bully culture. Companies don't want to be associated with that shit. Y'all who are, who, are, who are promoting this shit, you are killing this platform. You are flat out killing it. And then you're blaming the companies and you're blaming Google. You're blaming them. Some of this shit that, that, that you're, some of these people are saying, this is the shit that we've been proud that we move past. We're proud that we move past this shit. And here you are promoting this garbage from the past. Garbage. Garbage mindsets. Promoting this shit. And then you're upset because these companies don't want themselves associated with it. What is wrong with you? Many some of you come up, oh, some sort of conspiracy, left-wing conspiracy. And then some of you, like I said in the other video, you know, oh, it's, 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 it's mainstream media trying to, to they're the last throws of mainstream media. No, no, it's not. Okay, the advertisers, as I said in the other video, the advertisers um, have, have, have had a huge amount of control of mainstream media, and they'll continue to have a, a pretty big control over uh, online media such as YouTube. If you, want, if you want their shit, if you want their money that they're spending for their ads, if you want that money, you come to their standards, period. End of story. I just you wanted to say that kind of shit then don't expect to get paid for it unless you can find some sort of advertiser on an independent basis that will want to pay for that I just just I I, I, I gotta laugh at, at these these some of these people I've got to laugh at it it just are, are you just do, are you really that stupid? Or are you just trying to, to get all this attention because, well, well, this, these, these <laughs> archaic mindsets, they're being censored. My freedom of speech. Freeze peach. <laughs> My freedom of speech. They're not going to pay me to say this stuff. My freedom of speech. How fucking ridiculous. F just... 
fucking idiocy. Well, well, we've, we've been able to make money on this in the past when we found, you know, that, that some, a, a new terrible way of making money and, and, uh, and, and it's being put an end to. That's, that's my freedom of speech. No, it's, it's, it's not your freedom of speech. If Google can't make money on this platform, they're certainly not going to uh, keep it going. Unless it's just some sort of archive at that point, or unless they just make it for, uh, you know, they, they flush us out completely. But maybe you could, maybe you can, you know, get even nastier towards people. And then declare that, you know, <laughs> some liberal conspiracy. When so much of this stuff that I'm seeing looks like something that I would have seen on, you know, 10 years ago on Stormfront or some anti-gay site or some, you know... When so much stuff starts to represent the kind of shit that I saw would see on those like 10 years ago, we've got a problem. I just don't think people have realized how toxic this platform has gotten. It's kind of astounding. I mean, it's just been the past few years, two, maybe three years, that this platform has just become like it is. I'm just not seeing this ending well. Now, if Google is able to put a stop to that kind of stuff, great. I don't think Google has wanted to put an end to any news discussion about current events. I don't think that's what they've wanted to do. But because they're having to rely on algorithms... Um, because they can't possibly have people that will look at all this stuff. I mean, how many hours of, of video? Was it 500 hours of video a day or something like that? You know, that gets uploaded to this platform? Can't remember what the exact stat is, but it's it's a lot. You know, there's there's no way they, they can get enough people to, to be paying attention to all that stuff individually. Do you know... Do, do, <laughs> a reason why... People could probably be they they reason why they probably called it the YouTube Heroes program is because it's the thing that will probably save YouTube. You know, now for you, YouTube is just this this place where you can spew whatever it is, no matter how kind of fucked up the view is, uh, no matter how traditional or uh, archaic the view is you just want to be able to, it's just a place for you to to spew that kind of thing and you think you want to get paid for it yeah it's it's not going to be that kind of platform you'll probably be able to still make videos um and not make money off of it but who knows maybe you won't even be able to make videos like that anymore maybe they'll have some algorithms that just just you know delete those things, don't allow them on the site at all. And you know whose fault that will be? It will be those who have spewed this kind of shit, trying to make money off this sort of shit, uh, expecting companies to, you know, pay you for those kinds of opinions. You know, if, if, uh, if, if you actually get uh, uh, censored, where you can't have this stuff on this platform at all anymore, yeah, that is censorship, but... It's to be expected. Companies want inclusiveness to be the primary thing that gets represented. If you push against that, you can't expect to... Uh, <laughs> if you're pushing against inclusiveness, you can't possibly expect to get paid for it. And... If this shit doesn't calm down, you can't even eventually expect to say it at all on this platform, you know? Go to your storm fronts and your, uh, uh, you know, Breitbart comment sections and, uh, you know, go to those places. Spew all that shit you want there. But 
if if you think that it's if this is just a place where you can do that, yeah, that's that's going to change. A lot of people aren't going to like it. Some of us are going to like it, though. Some of us are going to like it. Go on, move move on to one of those other platforms. Are you going to get paid uh, paid to spew that stuff there either? No, 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 no. See, Google let this platform slip way too much. They should have been a little more draconian about this stuff, uh, you know, starting about four years ago. But they, they just, people push the envelope, and they push the envelope, and they, it's, it's like the Overton window of YouTube. And it's been pushed way beyond what it can handle. And we're about to see a wave of censorship that this platform has never seen. And the people that are responsible for this even having to occur are going to be the ones screaming the loudest. And you're going to blame lefty leftists. You're going to blame, you know, Google. Oh, they're just a leftist organization. And you're too stupid to see that capitalism is why this occurs. Maybe not too stupid. Maybe you're too uh, indoctrinated with an idea. Maybe you're you're uh, too ideological. Uh, maybe you've taken this this whole uh, freedom of speech as a political philosophy for everything ever. Um, you know, at all costs. Uh, you know, may, maybe <laughs> maybe you're just oblivious, or. Or maybe it's Maybelline. 